Hi, welcome to another session for Yoga with Joy. Let's get started. Today I'm actually running a little late, but no rush while you're in yoga mat. We'll do the best we can. Let's start in Parvatasana as usual. Breathe in, breathe out. Come to a prayer pose, back bend. Maybe turn it into a deep back bend if you want to. Come back the same way. Four fold. Step or hop back. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward, left leg forward, forward fold, get up one vertebra at a time, come let's do some side stretches. Then full body stretch. Come back to forward fold. Come look up. I don't know if you can tell my hair are like completely wet. I just took a shower. It does feel relaxing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Forward fold. Step or hop back. Stay in plank. Lift your right leg. Right leg down, left leg, left leg down. On the count of five, slowly come down. One, two, three, four, and then push up again. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Come to up dog. And no, no. Right leg straight up. Open your hip. Straight up again. Bring it forward to a low lunge. Come to a deep low lunge. Uh, from deep low lunge to lunge twist. You can lift your body. come to a prayer you can lift your back leg you can open your arms or you can come to a bind again you can stop in any of those poses come face forward let's do a half on one Forward fold. We are gonna try to go to Birds of Paradise again today. And that is maybe our peak posture. Come to deep uh, low lunge again. Half an hour. Come to plank. Down dog. Left leg up, left leg forward. Come to low lunge, to deep low lunge. 
come to Allah and twist. You can bring it to prayer. You can lift your back leg. You can open up. You can bind. All these amazing options you have. Bring yourself back. Come to half on one. Lunge again. One, one. Nice. Come back to not plank right now. Let's do come to all fours. So neutral tabletop. You can be on your front or back too, doesn't matter. Breathe in. Cat. Breathe out, cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Let's lift your left leg. Tap it on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing. Lift your right leg, tap it on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Come to child's pose. From child's pose, come to puppy pose by lifting your hip up. Let's thread the needle, open your right side, and thread the needle. Come to center, open your left side, and thread the needle. Come back to center. Now let's come to dolphin. We are practicing um, Pinchima Rasana almost every day. So, you know, eventually we'll get there. But if you don't want to, just roll yourself back and forth. Or better, you can also just stay in dolphin pose and then if you want to and only if you want to you can attempt to lift yourself and pinch my rasana my hair is so red it's like it's a joke anyway let's get to pinch my rasana Again, you can just stay in dolphin and don't bother about it. I'm going to try one more time. Come to child's pose. Back to down dog. Right leg up. Right leg forward. Come to high lunge. Lunge twist. Prayer twist. Again, neutral high lunge. To warrior two. Side angle. We'll try Birds of Paradise. 
So from side angle, you can either come to a half bind or a full bind. If you can come to a full bind, we'll bring ourselves in Bards of Paradise. Go back the same way you came to side angle to triangle. Come back to plank, down dog. Left leg up, left leg forward, high lunge. Lunge twist, warrior two. Side angle. If you can come to full bind, bring your front leg forward. I think I told you guys that I like using the wall. I think you can get extra extension. So I'm gonna try to use the wall to get that nice extension. Try different things. Bring yourself down the same way. Triangle. Coming to Plank pose, down dog. Let's come to Ustrasan. You can just put your hand on your lower back. or on your heel, very nice. Now, there are other variations, I'm gonna show one. You can come back out of it. Again, all these are options. So if this is where your comfort zone is, just stay here. Nice. I wanted to try something. Let's see. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to try. Come, hold your legs. It's not squat traditionally because your legs are not open. You're just sitting with your uh, legs folded. This is the side view. And then put your hand on either side and have this leg hover. If you can, um, don't take support from your hand, but if you can't, use support from your hand. This engages your core. Bring it in. Let's try the other leg. So first, let's try with hand on either side. Just have your legs straight out. It's not touching the ground, by the way, it's hovering. And then maybe, maybe you can let your hands go. Interesting. I actually saw this yogi doing this and I thought it's a good thing. It looks like it engages core, so I wanted to try it. All right, let's come to 
half lotus and extension on this leg now if your right leg is folded put your left hand on the outer thigh of your right have a nice spinal twist then maybe just maybe it's optional you can bind to hold your big toe on this side like I'm doing and if you can do that face forward again and if you can't just stay in this nice twist but if you can get hold of your big toe either your big toe or anywhere here is also fine on your back and then try to fold come on before switching legs let's bring this leg to half hero so we're in half hero half lotus if you can go back to that bind again and then a nice spinal twist very cool let's do the other side so our left leg was stretched now right leg stretches left leg on half lotus if you can I guess let's not bind first first do a nice spinal twist and look back if you can bind get hold of your big toe and then rotate your torso back to face forward and forward forward lift yourself up can you come to half lotus half hero if you can add a nice spinal twist here if you can also hold your big toe very cool look forward let's come to boat pose can stay here as well for both pose come to Sukta Vadakanasa open your chest and then recline Come back let's come on our back and work our core a little bit more legs straight up bring it down to hover straight up again two three Let's add a little bicycle twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're in this position, have your legs flat. You're almost in Savasana, except you're not. You're going to get hold of your big toe and stretch it. You can try to make it a bigger hamstring stretch by coming to have a happy baby. You can also do a it is like a sundial pose, but I think it's harder to do it in recline. So we'll just stay in happy baby, half happy baby. Or we can 
extend our leg like this. Now pinning our sit bone to the floor, try to open it to the side. Gently, without using momentum. And lift it up. Stretch your legs. We'll do the other side. So same thing. Stretch your legs. Stretch your hamstring. Baby. Stretch it again, pinning your hips open up to the side. Bring it back. Nice. We're going to try one of the flow that we tried yesterday, which was from Vasistasana. We'll go to full Hanuman Asana. So, Vasistasana. Transition to full Hanuman Asana. amazing how much more open you get with practice it's a lot easier than the first time we did I think she didn't do full we did half but even then I could feel my hamstrings were tight now let's do the other side so come to Basistasana you can do any variation by the way but then transition to Hanumanasana you can still do half Hanuman here, by the way, if full Hanuman Asana is not in your practice. Nice. Coming back out. Let's cool down now. Tempted to try one more round of Birds of Paradise, so we'll do that. Since I was mentioning to this class, we are gonna do it. We did it once. So right leg up, right leg forward. Come to side angle pose. Come to full bind if you can. And then bring yourself to Birds of Paradise. You know, you can just be here. Or you can try to extend your legs. I'll go back the same way. Triangle, plank, down dog. Left leg up, left leg forward. Uh, you can try to come to warrior two, but come to side angle ultimately. You can come to half bind or a full bind, do that and bring yourself to Bards of Paradise. Now come down the same way. Triangle. Plank. Down dog. Right leg up. We're gonna come to a pigeon pose. Nice hip opening for us. And then recline. Take five gentle breaths. Now 
jetzt kann man die dann da left leg up left leg forward to pigeon pose to reclining pigeon I'm getting a nice hip opening. Finish those five breaths here. Now come to a seated spinal twist. This is actually one of my favorite. This weirdly looking, giving height to other people pose. Again, get that nice leverage. Opening your chest up, looking back. I think I like it when I do it outside. Right now I'm just looking back at the wall, which is not super fun. But hopefully you have a better view than me. Now lift leg up, right hand up. Get that same leverage and twist and look back. Oh, feels good. All right, let's come to bridge pose. Um, come lift your hip up, bind your hand. Feels really good. Bridge always feels good for me. Um, chest coming towards, chin coming towards chest, or chest coming towards chin, however you put it. I think maybe chest coming towards chin is a better way to put it. And come down. Uh, thinking if you should do full wheel, let's go for it if you feel like it. Otherwise, you can do another wheel. <sighs> Come down gently. You know, you can make every practice your own practice by adding the stuff that you like. Um, the like whoever you're following usually just provides you a guideline you make it your own so come to a figure four get that nice juicy hip opening that feels good do it on the other side please we did do a little bit of inversion with pinch my rasana if you went for it but since we didn't do anything more let's come to this simple inversion if you want or shoulder stand if that's what you're craving for right now come to halasana in halasana you know you can be anywhere in that spectrum where your torso is but I prefer the one where the torso is perpendicular to the ground and touching toes on the ground is optional you can have it lifted if you can't reach so far back then gently one vertebra at a time come down nice massage on the back either hold a lotus or just have your legs straight, but we are gonna all come to fish pose. Very nice. Come out gently. Let's come to supine twist. I'm gonna twist it by keeping my legs perpendicular, actually parallel to the ground, thighs are perpendicular, and then rotating on one side and looking the other side. on the other side very cool um, let's come to happy baby 
You can straighten your legs if you want. And then stretch your whole body to come to corpse pose or savasana. Come to a comfortable position in fetal pose. Lift yourself up to come to a comfortable seated position. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's close our practice with a round of home. Breathe in. Thank you everybody, see you guys in another class.